Richard Mama. Good afternoon, Mr. Richard. Good afternoon. Yes. Oh, your voice is strong. I like that. <laughs> no, you know, kids have been talking all day, so it's all little good afternoon, tiny voices. But now we have a strong, you know, voice. Richard, Mr. Richard, please, can you just tell us briefly, you know, what you do? Okay. Uh, good afternoon. My privilege being here. I uh, want to say... My name is Richard Mama. Uh, I'm a writer. Uh, I'm also a media worker and uh, a book promoter. I am president of the network of book clubs and reading culture promoters in Nigeria. That incorporates uh, book clubs from across the country. And I think uh, that's what you know, uh, directly connects to my presence here. But generally, if, if, you, if you're talking about books, if you want to find books, uh, I find them interesting. And you're the man to find. If we want to, you want to recommend a book club or you're looking to join the book club, definitely Mr. Richard Mama is the person for you. Okay, Mr. Richard, you know, now, unlike before when we didn't have like a lot of libraries that children could go to, now we have more libraries cropping up. Not just libraries, we also have more bookshops that are cropping up for people to go and buy books. Not just children, adults too, to go and buy books. But, you know, we want to focus on libraries because library to me as a child, you know, you're really small. The shelves are really big and like it's filled from the bottom to the brim with lots and lots of books. And it's so interesting. You can spend hours in the library. But for the children's sake, can you just give me 10? If, I know you probably have a lot more than that, but just 10 reasons why as a young child, we should find ourselves going to the library every so often. Yeah, okay. Uh I can find you three reasons, and uh, I, can, I can find you 20 reasons. Right. But, but it's okay. Let's, let's try and get around the number 10. Let's uh, do 10. Let's do 10. Looks like a, a magic number for us. But it's, it's fun. Now, uh, an event of this nature, you know, could not be put together except by someone or some people who enjoy reading spaces. Right? So one of the first, thing, one of the first reasons why we must, you know, use... Uh, reading spaces is because they give us inspiration. Definitely, definitely. You know, they give us inspiration. They give us encouragement for what we carry. You know, somebody says, I don't know what I'm going to become in future. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Hey, go to a library. To a library. You would Pick begin to find what to do with yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, we can say that number one reason for going to... That's actually two reasons, actually. Number one, finding inspiration. Number two, helping you to know what you want to do with your life. Okay, I like that. Two points in one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let me get on to... Okay, so let, let me now give you three points in one, right? Because they are interconnected. I, 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 I think these words will be familiar to us. There's a word called past. Okay. Past. past. Your past. I know that. Right? Our past. There's another word called present. Our present. And there's another word called, you can guess the third one? Future. The future. Now, for you to apprehend the past, the present, and the future with confidence, right? Reading spaces are critical. Because what, let's take the past, for example. When, you are, when we're sitting here a few minutes ago, someone was reading a, a, a story that was connected to Mansa Musa. Now, that story could not have come about except someone interrogated the past. Someone documented the story of Mansa Musa's trip to Mecca, you know, and so that is how the past, you know, connects with us. If you're talking about the story of Nigeria, once upon a time we were many peoples, right? But now we are one Nigerian nation, and there's a story from our past that tells us about the Nigeria story. And if you're having problems with the Nigerian configuration, if you go to the past, you can also be able to trace where, as Achebe would say, the rain began to beat us. So that's how past is important. So reading spaces, libraries, help us to interrogate the past, right? 
Can I go on to the present? Oh, per wonderful. Go on. I'm, I'm intrigued, actually. I'm paying okay. rapt attention. So the, so the present is where we are. We want to understand what is going on. We want to understand the next steps. So you get on the television or you are in a discussion group and someone mentions the word chat GPT. Oh, yes. Right? I'm sure a lot of kids know <laughs> and about And some other person GPT. mentions artificial intelligence. You know, and they start mentioning augmented reality and all kinds of concepts. And you say to yourself, hey, what's going on? And they say, try Google or try one of the other search engines. Now, if you go to those search engines to find out more information about those concepts, one of the things you would find is that that data was not put in 20 years ago. It was put in in our present time because these are things that are happening now. Now, I would now jump on to the future. Some new changes would come 10 years from now. Yes, definitely. It is also from interrogating reading spaces, from using libraries, that you can even begin to chat it. You know, when you find a researcher today, is building on research that has been done centuries ago, and the researchers of tomorrow are already building on research into what could happen in the next 20 years. What is Elon Musk's team? What are they working out now? What plans do they have for you for 2030? It is through interrogating libraries and reading spaces that you can apprehend it confidently. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. So we have, that's the three points in one actually almost felt like five points in one because <laughs> <laughs> can I say that reading books allows you to predict the future? I could say that, yeah, because if you uh, study, if you study history, there are a lot of things that have happened that you see patterns in all these things, and you can say that, oh, based on how things are going, this is definitely most likely going to happen next. Okay, so we're five points down, or let's just say six points down. So we need four more reasons why we should go to a library or a reading space. Okay, now reading is fun. Reading is fun. One of the things we encourage parents to do is to make sure that there are books everywhere. Your child has to be comfortable with books. You know, your child has to be comfortable with books. If you come to my house, every room, you know, is a book space, right? My children have grown up on books. So they are not frightened by books. They are comfortable in the world of books. Now, because you cannot run away from books. So reading is fun, right? And we must keep it fun. When a child is reading a book and the child or even the adult, you are not comfortable with that subject. Don't kill yourself over it. Move on. Reading is fun. Don't forget this. Reading is fun. If it's not fun, if a book is not fun, at a point in time, it may be fun in 20 years' time. I, I remember the first time I read while you're showing cast the interpreters. I was in primary school. I struggled wait, and stumbled wait, over it. Right? <laughs> then in the university, I read the interpreters again. It was joy. It was interesting. I can still remember some expressions from reading the interpreters, you know, in the university. So re once reading becomes tedious, take a break, go and take a drink, go do something, go get some snacks, go do something else. It will become fun for you sometime subsequently. So it, it's a very important point. And the next thing that I think that we must take away is that you would not have education without books. You would not, if you go into a school and there is no library, walk out of there. It's not, it's not a complete school. Because at the bedrock, when the NUC wants to accredit an institution, that's Nigerian Universities Commission, one of the first things they ask is, can we see your reading spaces? Can we see your stock of you know, books? When they want to withdraw accreditation, this school can no longer uh, train people for engineering. One of the reasons why they fail is because they have failed to upgrade their book stock in that regard. So it's important that education is connected. The bedrock of education is books, you know, libraries, and reading spaces. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Richard. I think we're going to just stop there now because I want to believe that we already have more than enough reasons to take your child to the library and not just your children actually you yourself as an adult there are so many things to learn in the world and there's a saying that i really love no knowledge is wasted there are some books that i read when i was younger out of boredom and 
as an adult now, some of the knowledge from those books have actually helped me in my everyday life. In fact, some of the knowledge from those books is what informed my career decision to become a radio broadcaster. So yes, books are fun, books are educative, and the places that you can find certified good books that will enrich your mind is in the library and reading spaces and book clubs. Again, if you're looking for a book club, if you're looking to join a book association, Mr. Richard is your person. Please, a round of applause for Mr. Richard. Thank you so much. Richard Mama is an experienced editor and manager with demonstrated history of working in the books and publishing industry. He is skilled in writing, publishing, advertising, editing, and media relations. Mama is the current president of Network of Book Clubs and Reading Promoters in Nigeria. Richard has a bachelor's and master's degree in English and Literary Studies.